All right, we got a 2022 Ram 2500 diesel Cummins turbo diesel heavy duty and we are gonna do a fuel filter change on this 6.7 liter diesel and I will show you guys what you need to do the job all right so there is going to be two different filters first one is going to be in the engine bay right over here and i will show you guys the second filter underneath the truck your second filter is going to be located right underneath the truck right by your fuel tank it is going to be right over here here's your drive shaft exhaust it's going to be right in between and here it is you will need a 28 millimeter and you will need an 8 millimeter to do the job you're gonna need a oil pan because when you release the pressure from here it's gonna drop diesel and it's gonna be messy. So you're gonna need an oil pan. All right, so I already loosened it up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you release that pressure. It'll be a messy job. Just like that, it will start, start dripping into the oil pan. It's a very messy job, so be aware. And it's dripping all that diesel on my drive shaft. I put a piece of cardboard to avoid stains on the driveway and I believe that's it now I can go up there and use my 28 millimeter to take off the filter all right the next step is going to be to take off the filter and use my 28 millimeter socket You have to be very gentle with it so you don't break it. And there's more diesel that's dripping. Yep, I'm full of diesel. Here is the oil filter. I'm sorry, fuel filter. You can see, I'm not sure if that's dirt, gravel, sand, whatever. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not supposed to be in your engine. And this is going to be my 
fuel filter for the underneath of the truck. That's going to be your fuel filter for the engine bay. This is your uh, water separator also. There's definitely a big difference in color. As you can tell, this is the brand new one. And this is only, I believe, like a month old. But I drive my truck a lot, so I try to keep these chains every every two oil changes or so. The new filters do come with a I'm not sure this is called a seal or an o-ring or whatever it is it comes with a brand new one so you do have to replace the old one put the new one in to make it nice and fresh just like that oops here's what it looks like after you put it on Okay, I'm going to change the front fuel filter. First, you have to loosen this up. I gotta use my both both of my hands here guys all right guys once you loosen up that right there the yellow thingy you can loosen up the top just like that and this is where it gets messy this here a bunch of diesel everywhere all right guys, so this is what it's gonna look like when you take it off. Here's the old one. And here's the new one. I'll show you. The new one does come with a O-ring or a seal or whatever you wanna call it. Thank you guys for watching the video i hope this helped you guys a lot and hopefully this will save you some money peace